thank you for being here. So when I was a young girl, I believe that the process of aging for the average person looked like this. You go to school, you meet somebody, have a baby or not, get fat, get sick, go to the hospital, and then you die. <laughs> so I was wondering, what, why are some people in their 80s look so healthy and vibrant and alive, and other people sickly, frail, overweight, and even miserable? I began to ask myself, what does healthy look like on me? But I didn't want to give up chocolate or wine or even pizza. I love pizza. So it had to be something that worked with my, the way my lifestyle and so forth. So I created Why Did I Eat That? My name is Kalalia, and I'm the founder of Why Did I Eat That, which is a health and wellness resource for busy professionals that focuses on the basics, the basics of shopping, the basics of eating, and appreciating food. So my quest for good health led me on this journey, and over the years, I became a Hatha Yoga certified yoga teacher, a holistic nutrition health coach, as well as a Reiki practitioner. I also founded one of Brooklyn's first organic cafes and wine bars in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, called Smooch. I co-founded. And after three years of that, so much storefront being around, I wanted to travel, I miss creating. So I sold my half of the business, relocated to Brazil, and started to write and why did I eat that? But because I missed the community of my customers and Brooklyn community, I decided I would create a website. So I created Why Did I Eat That from Brazil and shared my travel stories, recipes, and personal eating tips. But now, newsletters are all the rage. <laughs> so I created, I launched just two weeks ago, Happy Healthy Newsletter with personal tips like this one. If Jesus didn't eat it, neither should you. Just think about that. Jesus probably didn't eat Doritos or Oreos because they weren't around, but maybe whole fish and greens. This is something I told my mother when she called me from Whole Foods just to help her with shopping and moving around. So I give really simple tips like this, and that's what differ differentiates my product and my service from the other competitors, the other food people out there. I make it really simple and digestible, memorable tips for people. So I'm going to just, I move my timeline ahead just to give you a sense of what's going on with me. I am doing health fairs now, uh, one on June 7th for 85 employees at United Way and another September 13th at Scholastic. And this is to just increase my following. I'm also an independent radio producer, and since graduating from this um, master's program at this school in December, I have produced for Latino USA's um, and Interfaith Voices most recently. I'm also working on a podcast. It is Love Food Stories, and the first episode is with this woman, Nylea Alexander, who is a wife, mother, and entrepreneur. And we're talking about tattoos, gyros, and dreams, so stay tuned for that. Uh, these are, I've already secured one sponsor for the first season of my um, podcast, and I'm working on a second one, which I've interviewed the owner of Serangina Restaurant, Eduardo, and I'm going to, hopefully he'll be interested in advertising as well. But I'm a dreamer, and so here are my dream podcasts, so if any of you people work at these places or know anybody that works at these places, please put me in contact. Uh, another avenue or revenue stream for me is to do live and online workshops. Uh, a couple people asked me about pricing, so I have essentially will do like $20 per person for at local food markets or community organizations. But I've also done more in-depth um, parties. I've done two birthday parties where somebody invites me, I bring all the ingredients. It's kind of like Blue Apron meets Iron Chef where I'm teaching people how to prepare food but we're talking and we have a party, there's music, and then we sit around and we eat together and talk, and then I give everybody the recipe after the party. Um, so just to recap again, this year is about the newsletter and the podcast, 2018 workshops, and I also have a book called Why Did I Eat That Also, which is about my 25-year relationship with food with simple tips, just like if Jesus didn't eat it, neither should you. 
So thank you. Please be in contact. Follow me on one of these things, or feel free to send me an email. And I no longer believe that sickness is a part of aging. However, I do believe that what we put into our bodies affects all other areas of our life. And it's, oh, I forgot the last line. <laughs> Hold on. Affects all other areas of our life and can empower us to be better human beings. And I want to live in a world like this. Yes. Thank you.